check, 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 check. Check, check, check. I think it's just this one catching me. Yeah. Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. We have a problem. Potential problem podcast. And um, my carpet was like dark brown. She's the coolest old lady. I'd fuck her. I just don't care. Hey, can you give me a ride to jail or something? Now let's get started. All right. Yes. This is a very different show. You didn't hear the usual boom motherfuckers intro. This is Potential Problems Podcast minus John Quayar right now. He's having to, you know, work on some stuff with work party. (laughs) Work party stuff, so he has to keep his job. Makes sense. So I'm running the shit tonight. My name is Alan Clark. That is our usual third, Black Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. I'm trying to I'm trying to fake like I'm not nervous, but oh, no, good. yeah, good. if I feign energy, I figure it'll work out. And then we've also got a guest. Uh, I go back with him a little bit. Pax. Hi, my name's Pax Blanchard. Hi, uh, Pax. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you listen every uh, here and there. So yeah, through through the 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 Stoner Bros. Now, as I eloquently refer to them as the Christian Bros. Yeah, I, oh, the Christian Bros. Yeah. I, yeah. They're, so, they're uh, still the Stoner Bros. To me. Always and forever. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> the the. St- oh, you're one of the Stoner Bros. <laughs> I, yeah, we 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 so, worked on we worked on some music together. I see yeah. It. yeah. Yeah. So he oh, was no. part of the whole thing, like that whole bong toke, like so, like how we had that whole weed music thing going on for a little bit. Uh, no. After a while, we needed some instrumentals remade and reworked. So uh, we went to Pax with, it and he started working on some stuff. But then the rap thing kind of stopped for them. They just sort of gave up on it. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's what I, that's what, Tough business to crack, man. It is. It's hard. That's what I. Especially when everything's done for you, all you have to do is say yes. I'll record. I'll sing the lyrics. Yeah. Yeah. And, and <laughs> it's just you know what? It's it's all about timing. Right place, right time. You know, if you got if you're at the right place, right time, man. It's like MC Hammer, right? Yeah, yeah, that, he's a prime example. Right place, right time, you know. Same with his rap. agent. His fucking agent, best yeah. case of right place, right time ever. And then he got the fuck out. <laughs> and then the industry is, it, it's uh, it's flooded, man. It's, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, what's that one word? It's, it's just oversaturated. There That's, we go. It's I oversaturated. Mean, yeah, bottom line. I just wrote a big old report on that in one of my business classes that just... Yeah, over a saturation of the music industry and the market in general. And that's, that's, yeah. That's how many pages did you have to do for it that? Was, it was 10 to 12. I did, oh, a fat, wow. I did a fat 11 pages on it. Nice. I, I asked a couple <laughs> questions that any artist would ask, and it's just like, what are the big players? And it's like the answer to that is like Spotify, Amazon, Pandora. Those are the big like streaming music. iHeartRadio is yeah, another one. It's streaming music, and they're the ones who really control all the rights and everything to the music right now. Good catch. Indeed. Um, and so with they have a stranglehold on the industry and what my report was bless you what my re- what my report was was basically addressing this issue and trying to find alternate means for aspiring artists to um, represent themselves within the music industry and I gave a couple recommendations and my proposal was basically yeah get off your ass and use these alternate sources yeah because you, you don't always have to be the rapper it's out there man you, you gotta know, go you can do be it. the producer yeah. you and can my, be mm-hmm. you know the manager you can be a part of the industry but you, you can don't be the guy who hooked you up with the studio time exactly, exactly you know you and know? i detailed that is like there's the music industry the industry is so vast it's I mean, the same thing with comedy and, and the first person mm-hmm. actually told me this was Luis. Luis powell he said you know what you don't really have to be funny mm-hmm. to make money in this business and you, don't. you just have to market yourself exactly. think about stephen ha ha hunt Nope. Yeah, I you know he's not the funniest he... guy, you know. But I tell you what, I guarantee he makes money with those shows. Yep, every every show. delivery. It's like the level of realness that people can relate to, and then yeah, I mean it's ultimately selling yourself. You know, like you got to promote yourself and be the shit. Yeah, I mean, money's out there, especially for musicians. Like I said, there's so many things to do, and my I do make music, I produce music, all different kinds. But what, I don't, what do you think about uh, Taylor Swift beef with the streaming? 
Um, like, audio places. You know? I mean, it's very logical. They don't represent the artists very well. All they do is really play their music. They don't. They don't help them really network their music to other artists. They, they don't, don't really. They much. don't get paid what for I don't shit. Get, like, this is what I don't get, and what I don't. I don't understand. If you're Taylor Swift right now, why are you signing any record contracts? Why would you? Yeah. Um, why won't you? You have enough money to produce your own music and just sell it from a website. And yeah. tell me which 15-year-old little girl would especially not go her, and download Yeah, especially when they're following. They're, uh, they're kind of devoted. Exactly. All you really and, have and to do is, is transfer the way to buy it. She gets pretty much 100% of the profit. <laughs> and, that, and that you pay your engineers, you pay your producers, you know, you pay all that. But you're getting most of the overhead, mm-hmm. you know. I don't see why more artists don't just do that. Yeah, and You that, don't need distribution anymore. And that's what my big quest with college in general general i i didn't ever think i was going to be back in school i mean i dropped out of high school <laughs> i just, just traveled around the united states and around europe for a couple years and then i came back and now i have like an idea and that's kind of what i want to do is i just want to represent artists and musicians in general and, and that's just, like, what you got to have is that just kind of like give them playing. a voice give them a voice and just make music An happen outlet. like even if my yeah. music doesn't ever become famous like i know a crap ton of very talented individuals but who you can seem like you know, the type like, of cat that would be you would be fine with that yeah no it's fun i just you like do to the, make you seem happen. like the type of dude that mm-hmm. does music for you not mm-hmm. necessarily just to make money mm-hmm. like if i if i never aspired any higher than i am right now as a comic which you know i'm just a local guy a local yeah. open mic guy I'm happy because exactly. I, I, I like I like doing it. Mm-hmm. I like being on stage. You know, Doug Stanhope knows your name. That's important. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I guess it's something you're he opening a, for people. It's a, it's it's a matter of well, again, networking. Yeah, you know, it's just you, you know, it's the the person who actually got me that gig was Kevin Kennedy. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have the, the he, he has mixed uh, sort of reviews by people, especially on this show. Yeah, I I've never personally had a problem with him, but uh, I remember at the Doug Stanhope show where you and him both performed, I was talking to him a little bit about uh, getting booked on one of his low spirit shows or one of the uh, Saturday. You haven't done it yet. No. That's yeah, exactly. I think it's because I'm associated with this show because John spent so much time uh, constantly guess, calling Kevin not, a cunt. It's not personal. <laughs> it's never personal. It's, it's I mean, I've talked to him plenty. It's just bit, it, on his side though. He, yeah. he shouldn't be bitter about any of that. If, if he feels you can, like, if I hated someone and I was doing my own show, I I absolutely hated a comic. You just wouldn't bring him but up. But I knew he was good. Oh huh. yeah, I'm putting him fucking on stage. I don't fuck personal. This yeah. is about representing me i'm putting my name on this i want this to be the best show but it's not about this personal stuff this is about the show right now. all right mike thanks all you're saying is i'm not funny according to kevin no Kenny. no that's that's <laughs> what your implication no is. no no I, I think it's because you know of, you know you're cool with john you know? yeah i think that's the main reason and yeah. you know kevin seems like the type of dude who would just hold grudges like that but yeah, even then, I'm but not, not even. Smart. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of taking a break from the comedy stuff right now. Just everyone has to take a break. Exactly. For there, there for a little bit, it was like really torturous of a mental process to actually get up there with new stuff and actually hope that it goes well and try to I lay know, it. You know, yeah. What? It's, the it's, thing is, you, you got to push through it, but because it doesn't go away. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't go away, man. I, I've been doing it for like new. ten years, and even there's times I'm like depressed in my room just thinking oh, yeah. like oh, i shouldn't be doing this that means that means you're, <laughs> that means you're a real artist i mean when you have those moments i mean but, every every well what, what always draws me back though is the next day when i get to work and i'm doing eh, it doesn't matter what fucking job it is I, i'm not gonna like it you know if yeah. it's not comedy related not not me being able to be creative in that time and that express eight it hours the way you want, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna like it, and w- while I'm there at work, I'm I'm just thinking like, yeah, I would love to just be at home writing some jokes or practicing or or coming up with an open mic during the afternoon. Fuck it, you know, it's like just any <laughs> call it the thing. unemployed show. You know exactly, you know anything, <laughs> you know. It's like I might be unemployed tomorrow. Well, yeah, I, I kind of kind of. Yeah, I was unemployed about a month ago. You remember that? Uh, well, you're making jokes like, like oh, you're still drinking like you're paid. That's, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm unemployed right now. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty nice when you get a little time to do what you want, though. See, yeah. that, that's what I'm looking forward to, man. It's like because I'm thinking I'm gonna get fired tomorrow. I, I told my boss off. This is the second time I told him off, but 
I, I, That's I think why John's I not here. Yeah. <laughs> I think I scared the shit out of him, right? Because, like, you know, while I'm at work, I put my work voice on, right? I'm like, hi, thank you for calling Sprint. You become, money. You become uh, yeah. what's his name, Nick Cannon's white, go- well, white guy well, character? I think about, I, I, you know what? You know what I, think about? I think about Carlton <clears throat> and Fresh Prince of Oh, Blair. yeah, that's a good, yeah. I kind of turn myself into, like, a Bryant Gumble type guy. Like, hi, how's it going? My name's proper. Mike. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's get that done. All righty. Let's I, get this done. You you get it's home, like get back mix. to listen to your records. Exactly, right? <laughs> you can spin your records. All right, go bust out them vinyls, you know? And then, like, I usually talk like that around work and stuff. You know, I got to, you know, keep it up. You know, I got to keep a job, so. But today, I kind of broke character, and I think it scared him. Happens it's every like, once in a while, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it did, he didn't expect it. I think he, he thought I was going to sit there and eat his shit, you know? He was just talking. It, it doesn't even make sense, but I can't even explain it. But anyways... I was right. He was wrong. I don't give a fuck, right? <laughs> so, I know my position. <laughs> bottom line. So so I'm like telling him, like, basically I told him his face. I'm like, you're stupid. Everything you're telling me is stupid. You know, he's like, I'm in charge. I'm in charge of this conversation. And I know it his, works. He put his finger in my face. Uh-oh. And that's where I just lost. I'm like just broke hair. I'm like, hold up, dude. Hold up, man. First of all, you ain't gonna talk to me like that. Do not talk to me like that. Yeah, the, you know, uh, the like, Philadelphia yeah, accent came out. out. I'm like, do not talk to me like that. I don't I don't care. You stupid. All this is stupid. I'm gonna go take some calls. <laughs> and I turned around and went, you know, went to my desk. Well, hi. Thank you for calling. Oh, yeah. They, <laughs> right oh, back it's to so it. so hard to do it, too. <laughs> yeah, I had to I'm, take, like, I'm breaths. Sorry about that, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. How can I help you? Yeah, how can I help you? you no, know, just a dickhead boss. No, know? there's a fine line between, like, the the dignity and loyalty thing when it comes to work and sometimes yeah like you said i'm not gonna you gotta eat, drop i'm not gonna eat his See, shit the today. thing is though and right like, there's this guy who knew he was gonna get fired right and if he doesn't fire me i am going to fuck that place up if uh, you got sprint <laughs> call in try to get mike i do actually. call dude just keep calling just keep calling till you get me okay. dude i'm giving away free iphones tomorrow Trust me. <laughs> this guy, but he, he knew he was going to quit, right? And he, like, anything that's notated in your account, right, it, it's free game. It's free game. It's like, it has to be honored. So he started every call he got. He got 15 calls we got before he got fired that day. But 15 people got free iPhone 6s. It's a pretty good deal. Plus. Mm-hmm. The 6 Plus. I, t- I take a free I- iPhone 6 Plus. The iPhone big as fuck. Yeah. He's like, yeah the yeah, iPhone yeah. large as fuck. <laughs> the phablet, the ultimate phablet 6. Oh, uh, they're all the same, though. Whatever, man. They're for all the six, same. For $600, though, shit. Yeah, the phone better give me a hand job. Exactly. While I'm I need to the fucking TV. work. I mean, that that shit better. You know what will work for me? Like if it can just argue for me, so I don't have to argue ever again in my life. Yeah. Like Siri be up there arguing for you. You know, like no, listen here, motherfucker. He went there and he wanted to go there. He's right. You're wrong. Like, Fuck you. You, know? you like, say he was late. Uh, my route calculated uh, uh, twelve like, and a half Siri, minutes. Siri handle this, and she's like, "Bitch, you better check yourself." She exactly. Just, like, I'll put that night. shit on the <laughs> stand right. and just choose, let her go. Choose, choose the voice it's like yeah look, i will hack Latina, into your phone yeah. and release your nude pictures like yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> i guess i have to comply now why, why do females still do that what send out news because like guys like like a lot it's of females, on snapchat now and the let, smart ones don't put their heads in it well, well the thing is it's yeah. like it's Snapchat's like fucking retarded yeah i don't get it i'm, I'm too like old fucking no it's just it's stupid i'm too old i, I got mad at somebody with snapchat right they sent me a message. I'm like, and I, I looked at it for a quick second. I, I can't look at it again. I'm exactly. like, what the fuck did you send me? I'm no. up here driving around town. It just confused. disappears. You know? I've, done exactly. same, I've done the same type of shit. It was like I had it for like a full day, and like some asshole sent me a picture of like his dick, and then some like <laughs> his, like him taking a shit. And I was just like, awesome, thanks, bro. I sent him a text. I was like, this is stupid. Is this what Snapchat is? Exactly. He's like, every now and then a girl send you a picture of her boobs. I'm like, oh, okay. Every and now and then. Because I know so many girls like I, like. like what are you gonna do in, you know, in, like, in that half a second? It was pretty funny. I, I can't. I can't even unbuckle my belt in that time. Like, you can you screen know. capture, but then it, it alerts them that you took a screen capture. <laughs> really? Yeah. I got your pussy, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> That's another another dumb one that my friend uses is on um, Tinder. I think yeah. it's called Tinder. Yeah, and it's Tinder. basically just like I've been a, trying to come up like, with a joke on that. It's like a shallow I, like pool just fishing. It's just like oh yep, you're kinda hot. I you're like nearby that. and so you're in my get, age range. So, so I down this is what I did. So I, I like downloaded it, right? <laughs> and I just started swiping to the left. Everybody All of them. No, you're doing it wrong. You gotta swipe to the right, Mike. 
<laughs> no, I thought right. You gotta was, hit like to everybody. Oh, so I'm dislike. They'd be like, "Damn, this dude is kind yeah, of that's arrogant." What, that's know? why you got no matches. No, I just, I just. Well, I, I'm still trying to come up with material because I know something's there. Because every oh, yeah. this like, there's so many people I've talked to who mention that fucking app. So yeah, you know, people know. John and I it, talk about know? it frequently. So I, just, I, I got I just it. I got it. I just liked everything, like you said. Yeah, I just liked everything. And then I mean, hey, you figure like. One in ten of those girls and has got to be down your for odds, something. Your odds, you know, your go odds up. are good. And Here we when, go, baby. when you finally meet up, I just like don't even bother with the like small shit and just be like, so. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So you, know, you, you ever? Come on. Yeah. And, and, Do you want to go bone or the what? Future, then, right. Yeah. In the future, it's either yes or you no. Can't, <laughs> you can't. You can't avoid that ugly chick. <laughs> so let's say she has fake. You have pictures, to acknowledge her, right? But this is the thing, like. Yeah, you know, I grew up. I grew up in the eighties and nineties. You know, well, nineties, nineties, two thousand, really. But the, the thing is, back in those days, right? You know, let's say your homeboy hook you up with a girl, right? You know, she gonna meet you. She gonna meet you here, right? All right. So you go there, right? But your boy is a code between my me and my boys. You describe me totally different. I, I'm 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 light skinned. I'm six <laughs> two. You know, totally describe me different, but make sure her description is on point. Yeah. You know, that way I can check her out. And if that bitch is lying, I can just walk past like I wasn't even supposed to be there. Nah, bitch, be I was looking. just in the food court. Yeah. Just got to give me some. Yeah. And she's like some. some exactly. Yeah. Right? Meanwhile, she's thinking some little kid just came up and started looking at me like she was sizing me up. I don't know what but, happened. But the thing is, sometimes it backfires. So, yeah. So you give, you know, my homeboy would give them too good of a description. So when they see me, they're like, huh, oh. Too accurate, but not too Yeah, he said 6'2", you're 5'5". Five, five. Okay. Sizable difference. <laughs> that's, a, that's a little different. <laughs> he said you were light-skinned. Look like Shamar Moore. <laughs> Dude, you look like Wesley Snipes. You know, I'm like, yo, what's up? <laughs> you know, I'm like, dude, downplay it, you know. He sort of looks like Play from Kid and Play. You know? What's that? He's a, the Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Huh? You're the young one. I know I'm a young one, but I might have seen. I just don't. Kid and play. He's the. He's the. He's not the one with the high top fade. He's the other one that no one talked about. <laughs> Kid and play was a group. Okay. Right. So you know the. Box. See, at least you're not getting mad at me because, like, you did when I did when I said I didn't know who Rock Kim was. See, I just take that personally. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> I just take that way too yeah. personally. <laughs> For good reason. Kid. Yo. I, I still Let haven't listened. Hit him. I haven't done my homework still. Oh, uh, you, you might dig some rock kit. Yeah. Oh man! Until then, I think my honorary black card should be taken away. They, no, no. Until no, I study no. up no, on some rock Kim. No, you keep it. You gotta keep it. So, uh, and, and then study up on rock Kim. All right. And, uh, I'm going to. Is it Rye or Ra? Ra. Ra. Yeah, rock Kim. R A K I M. Oh man, it's oh follow the leader. That's the album. You want to get follow the leader? Cool. I'll definitely check that out. I like Ooh, music. Classic, um, classic, classic. Man, I remember watching them videos, man. I was just, I, I used to wish I was Rock Him. I can't rap, but I knew I wanted to be Rock Him. I didn't no. know how I can do it, but <laughs> I was decent. You know, I was all right. Did you ever do that thing where, like, uh, in the songs they would say their own name but like you'd, you'd be doing it yourself like it's you uh, but then you would change the name and be like yo it's my Kim now it's more about uh my, my thing was all about lyrics uh, it had to be lyrically dope you know it's like you know uh none of that Beastie Boys whackness no I love the Beastie Boys okay yeah I love the Beastie Boys run DMC no yeah you know that's the birth of rap that there. is not whackness you know, I love I love run DMC and Beastie <laughs> Boys but like when I came up, it was all about like <coughs> metaphors and coming up with clever wordplay, which it, you don't hear in hip hop too much. No, anymore. now it's just oh, you got to be on on point with your punchlines. Like uh, so, okay, all you're doing is comparing one thing to another that's topical. It's, it's, so what? It's, it's it's not creative enough. Like when 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 I was trying to be a rapper, it was all about lyrics and. You know how hard it was to be a rapper back then. I know how hard it was oh. to be a rapper a couple of years ago. Just, it's just, still, but no, still, no, no. If still, someone came out with some lyrical, like some lyrical shit, oh man, they'll, they'll tear the industry up because motherfuckers out yeah. here rhyming. Well, like Lil Wayne. That's why he's I had no dope. success. I have to say, <laughs> if you listen to what Lil Wayne says, sometimes see, see, it's, and I don't like his like the lollipop. It's, like, it's no, too, no, no, <laughs> no, no. You gotta listen to the shit that they don't relaxed. play on the radio. Yeah. that's the stuff you gotta do. Those are the gems. The ones, the ones like almost like the filler they have the good ones that they'll play out 
out on the radio and then every album has those ones that are just like the they, they put in there for filler but it's oh, like yeah, you could yeah. tell their heart was in that one you could tell their heart <laughs> was in that song you know and yeah i respect i don't i really care for little wayne's music honestly but i definitely respect what he's done in it's like fun. such in a short amount yeah. of time and like where he started he was a young he, buck you know he's and very so, creative man if you listen to some yeah, of his know, like because so, like, he's smart like mm-hmm. even tupac did this you know it's like if you tupac, throw a, tupac's one of my idols a, just like, a song out tupac. there to get it on the radio it's like a song yeah. he, he called a song for the bitches you got to make a song for the bitches oh yeah fuck yeah you make a song for nah, the bitches he had, he had that down pat all the all the bitches are gonna they're gonna buy it. the sick chorus and then you're the gonna buy dance. double they, they still do with the but little the dance is, and yeah. thing, you know, just, they buy double because dudes have to buy that song too because yeah. a dude has to know that song when you go to the club and you dance with her if you don't know the song and she twerking and doing all this and you all off course and off beat because you didn't know the song was going to break right She's there go bounce on your <laughs> homie right exactly because <laughs> he he has the cd you know you it. was talking shit to him like why are you listening to Mick, Nicki minaj I'm like shit i'm sorry Wait till i get the, the song club, comes dog. on and then, yeah, you, <laughs> you know <laughs> exactly right you know when it breaks that's why you know? that's why i know Nicki minaj i hate the bitch but i know her music and really then, well and <laughs> then every once in a while when there's that just <laughs> silence just ah! Yeah. Yeah. Scream. You don't want to be the only one that's not screaming. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Everyone's like, fuck, did someone just get stabbed? Right there. They take your cool card. No bitches want to fuck you. You know, they're like, done. Yep. Like, he doesn't even have Nicki Minaj. <laughs> I thought it was kind of interesting how uh, with Nicki Minaj's new video where it's pretty much her just talking about all the dudes she wants to fuck or something. How it's got like Drake. Me and Black Mike? Well, no, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> fuck. But uh, she, she made this video and it got all kinds of flack for having Nazi imagery. Who, what the fuck? Yeah, just because it involved her sitting in a throne. People are too sensitive. With, with like, some flags. Where's, yeah, where's the group of people who sit at home that because they see Nazi imagery, they have a heart attack? Where, where are these group of it people? It doesn't happen. They just, just said, you just said they're at home. Exactly. <laughs> just, I'm like, well, troll, I think it's the other people. To get pissed about. I think it's the other people who don't want those people to have to see it in case they have a problem. It's like doing it before the fact on other people's behalf. I'll tell behalf. you where, 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 where they should have been standing up and this is how i'm going to prove that they're bullshit if they're so anti-nazi right uh you guys watch like c-span and stuff like that not really well c-span right check this out i used to think that was just the spanish channel growing up because <laughs> it had it in the name c-span. yeah i was a stupid little kid <laughs> you can joke. see no That's you can see joke. how i would think that though that, that, see, that needs to be your angle right there. It makes sense. And just how stupid I was He's as like, a kid. I was a dumb kid. <laughs> and then just have like 20 minutes of just... Dug a hole with a stick. Yep. No, I did that. <laughs> see, because some people are going to relate to some of your stuff. They're like, I did that too. Wait, wait a second. I'm dumb. You know? <laughs> Dude, it was funny because uh, actually earlier today uh, on our break at work, we were talking about some of our childhood rat stuff. Like just some of the <laughs> antics you got into. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do some dumb shit as a yep. kid, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I um, was definitely just a little boy. <laughs> th- there was one point where, uh, like, I was in middle school, and, uh, like, a bunch of the kids I knew were kind of asking about acid and stuff. <laughs> and I was, uh, you know, you want to try to be cool with the kids. They're like, yeah, you know, I know where to get some. Exactly. And I had some sugar cubes, <laughs> and I put, like, a drop of soy sauce on them and <laughs> sold them to the kids. And then one day, my mom uh, went into my room and saw this, and she thought it was, like, some kind of weird meth. Oh, no. <laughs> And then, like, I go back into my room because I, I went outside, and uh, <laughs> and I go back into my room, and my mom and my sister are sitting on my bed just waiting for me to walk back in there, and it became this whole intervention. <laughs> like, awesome. what is this? Like, oh, fuck. my mom was starting okay? to tear up, and I was like, what? My room, sister. <laughs> fuck off my bed. They had it in a little baggie and everything. They're like, what's this? I was like, Oh my god. I've been trying to sell fake acid to the kids at school so they'll think I'm cool. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah. It's what? it's your guys' fault for grounding me so much so I would just stay home and watch World War II documentaries all See, weekend. At least you were safe <laughs> with it. That's the thing. Yeah. You know, and um it reminds me of what my brother did one time, right? So, he wanted I don't know. He he wanted to be a weed dealer. That's what he wanted to be. He didn't want to right. actually do it, but he wanted to be one. He, right? He wanted well, like he, the prestige. Ended up, or, oh, I mean, okay. Pretty good. Okay. <laughs> pretty big. Okay. But uh, we're in high school, right? So he's like, yeah, I'm gonna sell some weed to to these cats over here. So he got 
the but he he took it too far. He got some oregano, right? Smashed it up real good, man. It looked kind of like shake, you know. And then he he's like, all right, this ain't good enough. So he just starts spraying random shit in there. I'm talking about roach spray. Oh man, he baked it. He I'm talking about. I think my brother invented he meth. Kill someone. Exactly. I, he invented spice. I'm thinking like, <laughs> oh, damn right. He, he created a new drug. I'm like, yes. you're gonna have them hooked on this new That's drug. The precursor to like, uh, but just like at least write shit. down what you're doing so you can do it again. Oh, just like a drug dealer, though. He, he was thinking all profit. He goes, oh, well, that's that's good because this is this is all 100% profit because I stole all this shit from the grocery store. I was like, damn. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah. I'm talking about road spray, but then that gave me an idea to do something stupid, right? I was like, road spray does kill. And I used to hate mowing the grass, so I sprayed the whole lawn one summer with Raid. And... Are, just dead as fuck. Yeah, dead as just fuck. all dead as fuck. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. I love that. Well, my, my dad didn't like it, but well, yeah, you know, <laughs> why would he? He was like, whole project hell. for the be summer like, just died. Be like, I did, I did the grass. Lawns used to be a big thing. Be like, by the way, oh, you're grounded man. all summer, just all summer for that one. Just take a. Take I wrecked a, my take, parents' car. Take and a summer off. ran. Yeah. <laughs> just ran away yeah. from the car? I didn't know what to do. <laughs> you did you think the car would be linked to them in any way? <laughs> I was like, it was like right in front like of the Like, for one, house. where's our car? <laughs> or two, hey, we found your car. Well, I hit the neighbor's the police. car. I hit the neighbor's oh, car. No. <laughs> and it was loud. I don't know how you didn't hear it. But it's like me and my friends. Because I didn't live there. Oh. Uh, you would have heard it? <laughs> Oh man, I just ran and my friend was like, dude, why are you running? I was like, why am I I gotta get the fucking car. Shit. <laughs> He's like, I'm running because I gotta get out of here. I'm not tied to this. <laughs> oh man. Get away. Yeah, it's we came back shit. from a family reunion type thing one time. It was like me, my mom, and like her boyfriend. We come back and then my roommate, he was fucking watching the house. We were all in high school. And we come back and the like the whole mirror from the car is just gone. It's just gone off the car. Just, so the like, side view? Yeah, and we're like, come on, Bowie. Like, were you joyriding? Well, I was about like, to ask if it was Bowie. Yeah, it was, fuck, it. it was fucking Bowie. And we were like, Bowie, were you joyriding the car? And he's like, nope. <laughs> just right away. Just, wasn't nope. me. Just wasn't me. And then it was like fucking two years later when he was finally like, hey, cuz, like, yeah, that night he's like, I was, I went. He's like, he drove to the Seven Eleven, which is like four blocks away. He fucked up. <laughs> all faded. He told me he was like all faded. And he's like, dude, I really wanted a blunt, and I didn't want to walk to the Seven Eleven, so I took the car. I'm like, that is the most New Mexican fucking thing I've ever heard. Four but, blocks. And and so yeah, and in the process, he's just like, dude, I just heard whoosh. And that was it. He's like, just no, no, no mirror, no more. He's like, I got back. He's like, I looked around. He's like, nothing. Was you that that red car? It was. It was an old car. It was like oh. a car I drove around. It was a. Because I know that red one didn't have a windshield for it was a while. A white Buick Skylark. No, I finally sold that one. I finally. You're got right. That is some New Mexico shit. That's do. some very New Mexican shit. Right? Like, like, like driving in the left lane, until you're slowly. Like, it's slowly or fast. It doesn't matter, but they wait until I'm talking about the last minute to exit. Oh, and, and then they lanes. yeah. Oh, it's, I'm like, why are they expanding lanes on I-25? Stop it. Or the people no that shit, uh, huh? it's one more lane for them oh, to just yeah. bomb across. Or the people on the uh, the on ramps where they just stop right away to try to get in. Oh, they literally will oh. just stop. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like no, there's an entire thousand feet of road for you to merge like find a spot how are you going to accelerate from zero <laughs> to, to 65 in 100 feet yeah in your station wagon yeah. <laughs> yeah that's pretty baffling one of your tires is actually off balance i can see it spinning wrong <laughs> wobbly yeah yeah, that's amazing seeing like how people how people actually drive their cars in the in the condition they're in let me just spin out like oh. thick white smoke. Yeah, I can't. I can't say anything. My car, my last car, was practically falling apart. <laughs> but. I've had one of those. I had a car so bad, right? It didn't have brakes, but the emergency brake worked. So what? The way I would stop is at a stoplight with the emergency brake. Yeah, but I would still hit the brake pad so the lights would come on. So mm -hmm. no yeah. yeah. So <laughs> the people on double, the outside would be none double, the wiser. Yeah. Double time thing. How funny! Oh man, it's like driving the standard. <laughs> Oh man, that's pretty. Good. <laughs> oh man, it was a Nissan Sentra, like a 2002. 
piece of shit. Yeah, mine was just falling apart. By the end, like, I don't know, the electricity was all going out, so, like, there was no rear end lights at all. <laughs> oh, okay. wow. Yeah, no, the only thing that the worked was the brake lights. The, yeah, the only thing that worked was the brake lights when I actually hit the pedal. Other than that, nothing. So I couldn't drive past, like, any kind of dark, any, like, oh, dust. Shit. Just couldn't do it. Otherwise, it was too risky and sure I'm like enough. that right now. And then, like, oh, man, like, windows were broken on that thing. Like, none of the windows worked. And so when it got to summer, it was just like toast city you know like the, none of the electricity worked so yeah it was it was a rolling freaking piece but yeah I, I, i'm I, right there i finally <laughs> i finally upgraded best fucking thing i've ever done fast as you ever drove was at like 5 30 in the in, in the winter time <laughs> yeah i worked at village in a couple was like several years ago and yeah the fastest i've ever drove oh man i've tried to beat like, that sun for hitting the mountain yeah it's like six o'clock, get home. six o'clock in the morning <laughs> it's like there i had no back windshield so whatever weather was outside it was just in my car too if it was snowing <laughs> if it was rain if it was ice and my my car my seat was like one of those shitty cloth seats oh so it just so, soaked it oh, all dude, up it was just fucking nice i'd sit down and it'd be all Wow, I'm like, oh, okay. that's a cold ass. You know, like, oh, yeah, I got pulled over a couple of times for passing a cop. And they were just like, oh, you know why I pulled you over? And I was like, yeah, because I <laughs> passed you like fucking 10 no miles over. It's cold. It is. I mean, like, and I just like literally like looked back to the non-window and I looked at the officer and just like I guess he could tell and I had my shitty village in hat on and I was like I just got off work it's literally 6 o'clock in the morning and fucking he's just like go home yeah. watch your speed you know there's no one else on the freeway but two times that happened it was just fuck that nice never again <laughs> I was just like, man, someday I'm gonna have a car that works everything on it. <laughs> right, my first Ooh, truck, gonna, my first, good. <laughs> my first truck I uh, picked up. It was like I bought it for like 500 bucks, and it was uh, nice. a '97 Ford F-150 with an extended cab for 500 bucks. It had 160 something thousand miles on so? it. So, and uh, but uh, so. Yeah, I got that, oh, and nice. uh, I kept it until it hit about 200 thousand or so, 201. And uh, it just started falling apart to the point I couldn't maintain it. And uh, my cousin was getting ready to move to Seattle. And he was like, hey, man, I know you're probably thinking about getting rid of your truck. Uh, do you want to sell it to me? I was like, yeah, I have to do some work on it. He's like, no, man, I'll take it. <laughs> right was, now, as is. Like, I right. was like, all right, I can do that for 800 bucks. Nice. So yeah. <laughs> I sold it for uh, yeah. more than I bought it for and did less work on it than I ever should have. I replaced awesome. the oil and the brakes. That's awesome. That's come up. <laughs> yeah, and one time I actually locked my keys in my truck and had to uh, jimmy it with a Slim Jim, and that fucked up the locking mechanism, so oh, I couldn't shit. unlock it from the outside driver's side. So from then I had to get in on the passenger side. I had a car like that. He's yeah, like, that and that's shit. how I sold it to my cousin. You know how embarrassing it is to like go out, go out on a date. With a car like that, yeah. No, 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 bitch. At first, they I think you're being first. chivalrous, yeah, right? but you're <laughs> like, no, I have to get in too. Mine, mine was even worse, man. Like by the end, what was the tipping point for selling my piece of shit car was one day I was I pulled up to a gas station, I go to open my door, and I hear a snap inside the door. That's it. <laughs> I was like, no. No, no, no. Yeah, that's like, what happened when I... Yeah. Yeah. Like, no. And the other door is broken. So it's just broken. So I was locked in my fucking car. Like, I could have crawled out. It's a little sports car, so it has a tiny little back windshield that was broken out. So I could have oh, crawled shit. out of that. But, like, some guy it's saw like me. How, like, it's like how thieves break into houses I did that the have real, basements. I did the real quick freak out. I was, like, trying it all. No, no. And I, like, <laughs> spazzed out real quick, you know? And then just, like, like I honked. I, like, tapped, <laughs> I tapped my horn. And this, like, Arab-looking dude, like, turns around. And, like, I'm I'm like come here and he like turns around right away just like nope nope and this I, like, is a car bomb i know, I know. <laughs> exactly. he's like don't pull that my people do this to your people poor, don't poor, pull that shit poor bastard so i did it again i like honked and he turns around and i'm like please i like yell like because he can hear because yeah. there's no windshield i was like please come here he comes over and he's like i like did the I, latch. I like did the latch and looked through the window all sad and he's like oh are you locked in your car i'm like yes please he opened it and i got out but like that was it when i heard that snap in my door yeah you uh, knew the mechanism just broke and so yeah that's like taking a girl out that's what i had to do for a couple times i was just like all right girl like put her in the car get me in the car and then when we get to wherever we're i'm like could you let me out yeah. it's like it's like the reverse role she's the gentlewoman she like comes around well, the feminism car is help, important helps now. me out and i get to step out on like, no no don't roll yeah. your window all the way yeah. up 
Yeah, yeah exactly. You just no, step out like, no cross yeah, shots, exactly. please. Don't roll it all the way. <laughs> nah, they did. They were off the track completely, put oh, up wow. with a piece of wire, so they didn't go up and down, period. They, <laughs> they were, were just stationary. Stationary up. <laughs> For display only. So like I said, in the summer, it got to be absolutely fucking murder when there was just no airflow at oh, all. Oh, fuck. Like, it was stupid. Only um, a vent out the back. You're not, no, you're not a cigarette smoker, are you? Huh? No. Oh, thank, thank God. God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Thank God. Just be hotboxing that shit while driving. No, thanks. Class. Fish bowling cigarettes. Like, yay. Everyone, the people next to you are like, yeah, until they smell. It's like, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've never been a huge cigarette smoker. I have, like, a weird affinity for them. I fucking, I'll go, I'll buy Once them. Once in a while. It's a social thing. Yeah. I like, and girls ask for them. They're like, yeah, hey, you a fucking cigarette? Yeah, sure, you get a cigarette. You know, go out and smoke one with them or whatever. It's yeah. like a, a reason to talk to people. Social, but, yeah. Yeah, I'll just. It's like what they used to do with movies. It used to be a very, uh, like, it would just be, hey, let me light for you. Yeah, like, no, yeah, exactly. It's a very social and that's, thing. Honestly, it works. Like, all throughout my travels in Europe and the United States, anywhere I ever was, I had yeah. like rolling, Cigarettes rolling the, tobacco. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like having, and then in Europe, especially, like especially random like, kids yeah, and yeah. just random kids you would normally associate with if you were, if they were American, would come up and be like, hey, man, you got a paper and whatever language or just symbol, you know, like point to it. And then, yeah. And I could just add, like, be like, yo. Where's some stash, you know, yeah. like you got, you know, like, man, yeah, fucking. Some and, then, yep. and so I made a lot of good connects that way. Talked to a lot of cool people just because. What know, are like, some of the spots you went to? Oh, man, I romped it all the way through. Like, I've been all over the United States a couple times. I've been all over the West Coast, all over the East Coast. I haven't been along that top, like. Oh, there's border, no reason border, to be there. Yeah, it's a bunch of shit. It's, all, it's all forest. Yeah, it's just a bunch <laughs> of forest and shit. But um, Europe, I flew into Amsterdam. I went to Paris. I went to Spain. I went to Switzerland, uh, Italy. Was that like mostly hiking, Poland, like between um, them, or like um, a lot of trains? I bought a yeah. Eurail pass. It's called That's a Eurail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it's like seven hundred year. It's seven hundred bucks, but it was hella worth it for a fat month. I could literally hop on and hop off trains. Like if I went to a place and it was too expensive or I didn't like it, just hop back on the, the train. Scariest thing for and me like, was like like you've been in those other countries, right? Mm-hmm. You ever get scared? You was gonna miss your stop. Um, I did a couple times, and I mean, yeah, it's all because you can't, you can't you, understand. You kind of get over that, and then, like, for what it's worth, the fucking trains in Europe. Fucking I mean, you fast. you can set your fucking watch to them; they're accurate as piss. Like when they say they're leaving at five o'clock, you I better mean, be there. At, <laughs> if it's five. <laughs> And then the second hand is going to 15. It's already closing the doors. They're out at five. Like That's they're out. Going. They won't. They will not wait for you. None maybe. of these movie style departures. No, Hold no. on. Oh, nah, with the hanky. No. Nope. The doodle. <laughs> I be the same. Nope. The doodle. The doors will close, and he'll just look at y'all. Like that. You did not have your ticket. I'm like with my Truth. ticket. On. <laughs> just like as the chain goes. I'm like, Truth. well, wait another 45 minutes. Just but, hop on the but, step and stand there. Yeah, they're <laughs> solid as shit. And so like, I got sick as fuck. While I was in Europe, traveling around, and was it the water? No, it was a weird <laughs> fever. I think it was the drugs. No, oh, well. <laughs> it was the drugs and prostitutes. <laughs> no, I'm just lack kidding. of immune system. <laughs> <laughs> it was no, nah, but um, we got real sick, and I just the the trains were so accurate. Literally, like I said, you could kind of put your like time to it is i figured my way around and i wasn't paying attention and like i just realized three countries away from and like i was going i was still headed in the right direction i was like right on like right on i'm doing all right so like <laughs> they're solid like definitely i recommend trains for travel it in, is, in yeah. pretty much any other country i've ever been they're just solid yeah because I, I i was always the guy like listening it's like did, did they say kaiser slaughter <laughs> Wait, or do they say Kaizen Slew? Y'all, y'all be quiet. Y'all be quiet. Yeah. You know, I, can't, I can't turn. Y'all, y'all ain't like we could just so you turn this motherfucker. Right? Yeah. You know? there, are some, there are some pretty good moments. <laughs> oh, man. But it's fun, man. Taking the train. It was, oh, man. Great time. You gotta go. You been I, need to, I need to know. I need to get out of the country. Fuck yeah, man. Puerto I've Rico. Never left. You should go to Puerto Rico. I definitely I'm recommend it. I'm not Fuck trying to get yeah. kidnapped. No, you won't get kidnapped by women if you go to Puerto Rico. Yeah, you might get kidnapped by their pussies. Mm-hmm. You might get your butt smacked very hard. <laughs> Oh no! I better get there immediately. Puerto Rico women. I don't know if it was. It might have been the Dominican Republic, but yeah, my friend. I never, my, never had experience. My friend traveled with. He's a tall white guy, and he had his little Asian 
girlfriend and they went down to the DR I'm pretty sure it was Dominican Republic and there was a festival going on and they literally got the shit beaten out of them like they got just like just for being there no it was like a festival but all the tour like, violence all the festival tourists, yeah it was like all the like <laughs> Dominic, Dominican Republicans they were like all cheering and like stuff and they would march he said they would march all the tourists down this little gauntlet of people with these paddle like flog things <laughs> and he said they were just whipping like the back of their why legs. they just were laughing and having fun and he said and so like they started hitting his girlfriend and so he was like oh hell no so he like got behind her and he said he just took all of it and they said <sighs> because he like shielded her that they were just like hitting harder and he's like we're talking big old Dominican men just like wailing at you it's like <laughs> little like these little like plastic like things that they're yeah. giving out and he said yeah I don't know what the fuck festival it was he's like but like he took pictures of the it's bruises. like the running of the Jew and he, Borat no, yeah, <laughs> he, he took pictures of the fucking bruises and dude it was black and fucking blue like they beat the crap oh, out of was him. there a giant mache costumed person who ran down there and everyone just started beating it oh, until man, it fell I down and laid know. an egg I was, like, yeah, what, where did you, I was like where did you go again remind me to never ever go there yeah I think <laughs> I'll go to I think I'll go to Guam I was trying to get the fuck out yeah, yeah. No. I think I'll go to Guam Guam yeah fucking Guam yeah. But I'm trying to go out to Japan this coming year I always want the radiation though. Ah, let's fuck it. I think fuck it. I'll eat some glowing hey, fish. It's like they live with more radiation yep. after okay. what we did. I'll eat they some just, glowing they fish. They need the tourism. What happened right after that? <laughs> Technology fucking boom. I'm talking about Sony, Panasonic. Yeah, but now they have like weird egg jack off toys and like weird. They have yeah, fucking man. panty used schoolgirl panty vending machines. Yeah, that's we obviously bad. fucked up their DNA with those atomic bombs. Not even man. we yeah, did this yeah. to them. I tell you what, no, that's, cool, man. <laughs> that's I'm smart. I, I I rather have an vending machine. We should do that for all vices. All these Just dude, drop atomic bombs something. on people? No, well, I think it would make us smarter, actually. Mm, but the thing is... <laughs> get those super uh, mutants from Planet like, of the Apes. about the pedophiles out there, right? Maybe they can resist. Maybe they can say, you know what? I can probably go just hang out at the school. But fuck it, the vending machines the right vending here. machines right there. <laughs> For 15 bucks, I can have some fresh panties. Exactly. Dude, I heard, I heard there was a, they were making a new online hangout for convicted pedophiles and stuff like that. Oh like an God. online hangout so they can get their frustrations out via that and not have to actually go out in the real world and deal with kids. Nah, for, what it's, for what it's worth, I think it's kind of wholesome. I it, think it is, but you gotta send virtual. them some panties or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so it's just, like, just, it's just like one of those, I mean, because they don't, like, they have Fucking uh, go pick up the know, new model of the electronic you know, cabbage patch kid, hook it into your Transformers computer. Transformers and well, yeah, GI Joe. Well, I mean, they have they have like an atom, uh, blah blah, an atomic anonymous. <laughs> a fucking they have an alcoholics anonymous, a sex anonymous. They definitely they, they, you're not an anonymous pedophile. They know you have to have known, signs in your yard. They make it very known <laughs> everywhere. You know. so, <laughs> that motherfucker. So, so right it's like you, you can't have a, a pedophile as anonymous. You know, you have to go up with a group of no. You have Megan's just law. Like, just be like, my name is Pax Blunt. I'm not pedophile. But be like, my name's Pax Blanchard. Everyone here knows why we're here. You don't exactly. even have to say it and be like, I just want to be friends. Like, that'd what would be, that? What would that, that mean? That'd be, be weird to have to describe be, yourself in that meeting. You're like, yeah, yeah, my name is uh, Mike. Super, super and, fucking uh, awkward. Y'all know I touch kids, just like y'all touch yep. kids. You know, super fucking awkward. My age range tends to be between two, and you know, like, like, be like, you know, they'd be going that's just crazy at the like at the weird like little recess time. They'd be going up. He's like, oh, so you did it? You, so you you messed around with your little sister too? Or like, yeah, exactly. oh, you're, maybe relating you're stories and shit. This time is real tough for me right now. Usually <laughs> the school bells are ringing and I'm out by my spot trying to hang out with the kids. I tell you what. <laughs> Come on, I got a penny in my pocket. Just fish it out. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Let's go hit the Mickey D's and then uh, swing past the vending machines. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, vending machines? Yeah. Yes. Vending machines, man. I'll yes. pick you guys up a nice little dinosaur pencil topper while we're there. Right. <laughs> I, I, it'd be like it'd be like the new it's like these weird ways of internet seduction. Like what the fuck's going I, on? I heard, yeah. I, heard, I heard they got the new Save by the Bell draws up in the there. Save by oh the my Bell. God, yeah. <laughs> I heard they're coming out next week. I'm gonna have them first. Yeah. Yeah. It's like an <laughs> online hangout where all the weird pickup lines they try to use on the kids that the kids will never understand actually work. <laughs> They're like, oh, this is a gold mine. I love this online hangout. <laughs> oh, man. I, I hope I never actually. Is it called LinkedIn? No, <laughs> LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The logo's just a big, like, chain, like a bunch of Megan's Law signs tied together. <laughs> LinkedIn, we're all one community, fellas. 
Because it is just fellows usually. Like LinkedIn yeah, doesn't, doesn't LinkedIn except seem for like... the occasional teacher who actually exactly. gets convicted. Exactly, I was gonna say lately it's the been hot a lot teachers of, are a lot of fucking hot gym teachers and shit, yeah. right? And, and who and can weirdest... blame them? Oh man, fucking. Am I... See, that's the weird double standard though. Am it's I... like oh, no, well, with no, because like with male teachers and female no, students, it's usually looked on pretty bizarre, even though there is that whole schoolgirl but, fantasy. Yeah, but they 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 still like that one teacher. Where is it? Like in Florida or somewhere? Probably. Oh man, they came down hard on her. Was oh, it the one with the fuck. threesome? The threesome? No. The threesome? Am I a dick sure. for saying that kid's my fucking personal idol? Not like, at all. Oh uh, man, I was like, like, I I almost fucking I like clapped a little bit. I was like, Pat. Patsies, man, you. It's man, like, not only were they, it was like a hot teacher it too. It is a like double one standard the, for guys. And then so, what's the fuck? Imagine if it was your son. It's just weird, right? No, I'd be devastated. And not like, me. That's I, I'd be high five and a little. Nick. I'm like, hell yeah! It, you know, I was I was 21 before this happened to me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so you doing it at 17? You you gonna be a trooper? You know, I mean, but if it's my daughter. Oh God! Oh damn. yeah, no, it'd be a shotgun and a knife waiting in his Ooh. room, like no, <laughs> you know, like no, it'd be just Ooh, over. The things I would do to him so slowly. Yep, exactly. <laughs> no, it is weird. It is weird. The sexuality, the gender, like, See, like definitive uh, gender is. I was working on crazy. some material about. It was in the same context as as that, and um, what was it? It was about. I hope I wrote it down. I'm trying to look it up, but there's apparently a lot of teachers that have been diddling kids. No, I saw like another one. It was a fresh one from like two days ago. Or <laughs> another? Like yeah, and it was, oh, no. it was a hot gym teacher, relatively attractive, like lady, and yeah, having sex with I, students. I, I need, I need like, to start going visiting my, my son's school. What more, the fuck? Man. What the fuck? I need to go like, in there and, and just talk to teachers that ain't his teachers. I know, poor you know? ladies. How come you're not helping my man. son? <laughs> You're not advising him enough. That's because I'm the nurse. Exactly. <laughs> be like, I need punishment. <laughs> Just go in there and be like, my penis hurts. Yep. <laughs> I need an injection. Right. Not an injection. Sorry. The, the Do boy. not give me an injection. My penis hurts. It's, <laughs> the boy is fine. It's very hard. I need punishment. <laughs> it's just like, uh. Oh, man. My, my, my son's teacher is actually fucking hot. Yeah? Yeah. Fucking amazing. Yeah, she's bad. She poor, is bad. I just figured the poor fucking ladies, man. They got to prey on some freaking. That's young, why these kids don't boys. learn nothing. No, there ain't no shit, huh? You know, it's like you we, we bring back the old, the old bitch. You know, it's like my teachers or were old a, as shit. Just a crusty dude who had like no emotion. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, you either learn or you don't. You know, and it's like you don't like it either way. Like, I had one teacher, Mister Howes, but I think I learned better that way. He wanted to cuss at us, but never did. So he would always say, "Oh God, got, got hoot nanny." Nanny hooting, 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 holler, holler, nanny all, hooting. All flustered. <laughs> yeah. Just like, you, know, you said every little thing except for fuck. It's like, my, like my, my friend actually said that. He said, why don't you just say fuck? Fucking turds, you know? <laughs> like, the way you said it was so cool. We're like 12 years old. He's like, everyone's all, why don't you just say fuck? Yeah. You know? He's like, what in the hooting nanny did you just say? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, get the fuck out of here. That's, oh, man. That's good, man. Willie Williams. Willie Williams? That was his name. <laughs> Willie Williams. Good, good guy. Was this part of the influence of <clears throat> Big Willie Jimmy James Johnson Jr.? No, 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 no. That's my homeboy, Will. Will Collier. But Willie Williams, <laughs> he Will was Car the birth of the how I think of comedy. The way I think comedy. It's like me and him, we used to, like, the first time I met this guy, we were on the bus. You know, I'm like seventh grade or something, you know. And I was in the military, so we jumped around. And I didn't uh, know anyone at this school, so, like, you know. You know, me and my sister get on a bus, and all of a sudden, he, you know, we just start vibing, you know, and like we just start cracking jokes. We're talking about people on the bus, you know. It's like, and from there, we was always in the same class, you know, always clowning and shit. So it's like, uh, you know, just the way I think of comedy, I always think of Willie. Like Willie is like one of the smartest dudes I fucking know. This dude is a fucking egghead, you know. <laughs> He's, you know, I love the guy, but you know, he is. And but that, that's the reason why I did good in school because I always. Yeah, you know, I'm very competitive. So since I hung around him and he got good grades, you I wanted to try to get like, good grades I too. I need to get good yeah. grades. Fuck yeah! yeah you, know, and, you you keep those people around you for a reason. I always keep a couple friends around me who are like at my level, and then I like to keep a couple around me who are like above me. So it's something to strive to, you know. Exactly. And then adversely, I keep a couple friends who I know are just like you know might be struggling or not quite up to speed on being an adult yet, and it's just like I like to I like to help them, and it like puts perspective. Like okay, I got my shit kind of 
going on. I think it's important for that. It's like yeah, but you um, can't you can't let the uh, the person know that like you look up to. You can't let them know no, that you no. look up to them just because they'll start do they'll like fuck with you. Yeah, and be like oh, what you really should start. I've been doing this a lot lately. Is you go get a prostitute and you don't pay her. <laughs> It's like, oh, really? Yeah, how does that work out? <laughs> really good. You'd be amazed. They're actually kind of surprised that you're not standing up, that you're standing up to them. Yeah. Fuck, that's a good idea. There ain't no pimps and then, out there no more. That's there's why. There's, there's some pimps out there. God damn it. No, 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 that hurt. It's a, it's a free market. It's the wolf in you right there. It's a free it's a free market. You got to like I was saying earlier, you got to sell yourself. I just same, don't, same with the prostitutes. I don't see why <laughs> prostitutes don't have more more websites. Right? Why you got you ain't got sand on yeah. the corner no more, bitch. It's cold. How come prostitutes.com isn't an actual <laughs> website? <laughs> you just need a motherfucking app. For Somebody it, just man. bought it so nobody can use it. So they call that they pay man. the twelve dollars a That's year so nobody can make a website. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. They don't call that LinkedIn. Jesus. LinkedIn is a slutty the slutty social Facebook, uh, like the slut, slutty social media. Is so, it? I thought it was the professional one. No, because they're always begging me to I, join. They're like, come on, Mike, you haven't been here That's in a while. why it's the slutty hey, one. Hey, no. come on. I'll suck your dick I'll if you sign you. it. You know? Like, <laughs> fuck LinkedIn, leave me alone. It's the LO one. They're yeah. Like, come to LO. I'm, I'm like, like, oh, you need a private. LO, the new one. Oh, it's like, whatever. <laughs> yeah. LinkedIn just like, is just like remember, fucking Facebook was free. Like and, like, MySpace gave up a long time ago. Dude, wow. MySpace is still in the game, actually. It is, like, but I don't get emails <clears throat> yeah, for them begging yeah. to suck my dick. So, <laughs> come so on, come back. They are irrelevant. Back. They are it's completely irrelevant. They don't fucking suck a dick no more. <laughs> yeah, Shit. Facebook. I was signing Facebook probably. I mean, not Facebook, but MySpace in probably like six yeah. years. Yeah, fuck man. it all, man. I deleted my Facebook recently because, like I was saying earlier, it's just mind trash, man. My shit got to just a bunch of crap I didn't give a fuck about and the same like three girls fucking posting pictures of themselves doing yoga and shit you know shit. what like, I do it wasn't like I don't know I follow certain certain people that like keep me kind of interested in their like news sources and shit like that and that's why I want it to be but and so that's why I'm just manual reset I'm gonna let them delete they're like do you really want to delete I'm like yes for like the like, fuck, fuck yeah for the fucking eighth time yes I want to delete done. my fucking Facebook and then finally it's like it'll be deleted finally on the 23rd I'm like okay for fuck you know finally Jesus and so I have to wait for them to delete my shit it's pretty much them picking out all the crap they can ever use against me, pretty much. Exactly, right? And then, and then my shit will get deleted. They're just looking through it. Litigation, just, litigation, just litigation. so I can get another one, pretty much. It's pretty stupid, but yeah. it's to be to be even halfway successful in this world business-wise, you kind of have to have some kind of oh. stupid social media. Yeah. I tell you some what, kind of speaking outlet. of social media. What happened? What do you mean? What happened? What I don't know. Happened? One of the greatest things of all time just happened. You guys seen the Star Wars trailer, right? Yeah. Fucking awesome, right? I didn't like it. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> didn't like it's it. It's a rise out of what? a basic couple. No way. That was kind of cheesy. Cheesy. Cheesy, yeah. Cheesy. The stormtroopers look cool as fuck. They don't look all cheap and no, no, plastic. No, no, no. Did you see the international that was a good trailer? Step, though. Well, yeah. You didn't see the international? No. Oh, you got. You gotta see the international. It's a little bit different. Is it the George Lucas special? No, no, not the George Lucas, Lucas won't watch it. Super blurry. He's got version. a problem with it. Super, super, yeah, um, exactly. I was like, it's uh, it shows like uh, old Luke and like his Ben Kenobi robe. Why? He's, he's still Ooh. alive. That's the teaser well, he, trailer. No, no. And do, do you see when he's about to fight the Sith Lord with the the uh, lightsaber sheath? Like the extra pointy ones? No, no. It's like, like a motherfucker just rolled up on Luke. was like, oh, so you and Ben's old crib. What's up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> and, and Luke, World Star Wars. <laughs> World Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> World Star Wars hip hop. You know how many of those black right right there, videos I've watched? Yeah, that, that is. That's a good idea. Kid. World Star Wars hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys noticed that? Have you guys watched any of those Black Friday <laughs> right videos? Now, we're right there. <laughs> no? Almost every video that I've watched that has to do with like the Black Friday sales and fights and like, the Black Friday stuff... You just hear in the background, World Star, World Star. Like, like, oh, oh, yeah. On, like, I have all seen, of them. Okay, I have but to do that, you actually have to film it like this and not like this. It's, uh, you have to film it portrait and not landscape. It's yeah. just fucking uh, animals, man. Right? Animals on Black Friday. <laughs> I, I can't do that <laughs> shit. Fucking man. animals. Just be dude. like random videos. I did, the no. bl- I did the Black Friday thing once. I've had no, to work it. Do no, that wasn't, that wasn't by my choice. It was because I got dragged to it on the promise of... Uh, 
Coochie. Sixty dollars worth of clothes, which was a, ultimately <laughs> where we. It. Sorry, uh, I, not from his mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ultimately, Shopping it was just clothes. Mom. Yeah, <laughs> a pair of pants and a shirt. Well, she probably wanted you there on exactly. Black Friday. Wait, for $60? You, you, risk, you risked your fucking life for that. I mean, I I know. I thought it was a stupid idea too. That's all I could really find for that price because everything is so fucking. Well, yeah. at the, least the Alan doesn't do it all the time. They yeah. only <laughs> they advertise all the shit on TV, right? Like you know, we got you know fifty inch TV. You know, one. There's one only dollar. one or two. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm like motherfucker. There's like. 3,000 people outside. What are you being at three? We yeah. all want a TV. Exactly. <laughs> all of us. We're, See, and they bank on that. Where's the like... fucking truck? I'm sorry. I saw the fucking Walmart truck on the freeway. It was had to have been filled with TVs. Nah, they, had like, <laughs> they had like three of them in there. Yeah. And you know what they had like a thousand of was like fucking doohickeys, like those dumb little ear headphones and fucking like yeah. phone cases. Beats and all by that. Dre. And, and then they get you with the fucking chicken. Dre, yeah. They get you with the chicken out the door because now you, now you smell the chicken. Chicken. The rotisserie. Oh, in the little like, boxes. Oh, now I gotta get it. Yep. So now, now I came here for a fifty-inch TV, but you sold me on a fucking twelve-dollar chicken. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck you, Walmart. Or like a Fuck seven you. or a seven-dollar hot dog. You yeah. are, yeah. You are a fucking thirteen-dollar beer. Hustler. Yeah. <laughs> like fucking hustler TV. extraordinaire. Yeah, that's fucking marketing genius. I would like to be the person on Black Friday who like makes a big deal about getting into the store rather early just to go to the beer section. Oh yeah. <laughs> where's, the, where's the fucking deal? Do they yeah. have that? I don't know if I've seen any Walmart liquor store. Really, Walmart has Black Friday uh, deals on their alcohol. No, not on their alcohol, oh. but I think it would be funny to like run it, like get in that big group like of people and be the only like, person to run to the alcohol he's like, section. He's like, <laughs> like push savagely pushing little girls out of the way. Get out of the way! I need a 12 pack! <laughs> it's it's like like a, it's like I need large. to be drunk Remember to be here. <laughs> yeah, in old school. It's like a large, like, American, just large and greasy, all just, oh, I need my beer. You, you know, like, it's like, like, have you seen a uh, Bud Light? <laughs> have you seen that? Or like, do you know who uh, the artist Mr. Oizo is? That at sounds all? super familiar. So uh, the guy from Tim and Eric, Eric Wareheim, directed a video for this guy's new song. And it's like a Black Friday kind of thing. Oh. It's uh, We can't show it on here because of the copyright thing, unfortunately. <laughs> But unless we can edit it out, which was an, always an option, <laughs> I guess I guess can't you just put like a bar home. over it or something? And yeah, doesn't that change it? Not the music, but uh, you know what? Fuck it, we're gonna watch it. I'll just edit this part out. Just be, we'll just, right. yeah, there won't be any commentary, but it's like an entire take on like the whole American culture of just buying shit and being all greasy as fuck. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Actually, you showed it to me already. I'd like yeah. to see it. I like stuff. Hi, Uriah. Hi, guys. <laughs> hi. You just sort of showed What's up, but we buddy? didn't even say hi. I got a new toy. My don't don't push this. the button. Is no, he mace? would not love that. Yeah, it is. It, you're supposed to put you know it on. What? You're supposed to put it on the bottom of. No, the, no, I, I know what the fuck this is. When, when I was in the military, right, we had one of these. Well, some chick had it on her key ring. It was a smaller one, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, you, bitch, which what you got flashlight for? Psh! Yeah, no, oh. I've maced myself before. No, I maced the whole dorms because it went through the ventilation shaft. It was like seven in the morning. I'm talking people coming out. They're bombing us. They're bombing us. Oh my god. <laughs> CS gas, 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 gas. <laughs> some time we'll say. It's some time we'll say. <laughs> nah, I was just a dumb shit. It was like sitting there on the kitchen or the bathroom counter for some reason, and like I saw it. It was like my sister's key ring or something. I was like, why the fuck? I thought it was an inhaler, like a dumb shit, and so I was like. Uh, Shit. Why do you keep Hurt. your inhaler on your keys? And so like a dumb shit, I go tss, tss, like that, and I put it down, and I'm just like in the bathroom, like brushing my teeth, and I'm just like, <laughs> like oh, what the fuck, you know? Yeah. Like, and then what I, did just, I, get I sick? come out, and I'm just like, oh, like that, and like <laughs> burning. Oh man, it was that fucking, shit is it was fucking horrible. terrible. And I didn't even directly like get myself. It was like right in front of me, and it was just man for like four hours, man. Yeah. It was just like this spiciness yeah, in my can, face. That like, shit can get pretty fucking miserable. Oh, it was, dude. And it's like I don't know what the fuck to do. I've never been maced or anything, so yeah. And like the whole house, like my sister <laughs> comes out of her room, she's like, oh, what's that smell? <laughs> <laughs> and like, yeah, just everyone. Like, She's like, were you being raped? <laughs> yeah, this, no. this uh this thing is like sixty bucks. Because you can put what it is on it a the, fucking grenade? No, you can put it on the bottom of the baton. Oh yeah. That's cause it's a whole delivery. It's like part system. of a handle. Yeah, and that's why it's got that little thing there. Okay. You've seen my baton, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Uh, I can take off the bottom. I can screw this in. Wait a minute, uh, maybe I have. Does it extend out? Yeah. It's collapsible? Yeah. What nice. do you do? I do security. 
Oh, yeah, that shit looks same. My baton, so like, if I'm tired of whipping him and I want to wake him up, I just hit him with the bam. <laughs> yeah. Or if you want to well, put him actually, to sleep. <laughs> I would, I, at first, I would definitely go to baton before I sprayed anybody because I hate oh, yeah. spraying. I've I've sprayed countless people. Because, There's a video of him being um, sprayed. Yeah. That like, 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 what do you do when it hits you? Fight through it. She's like, because yeah. you're gonna get hit. He's like, I kind of, I'm kind of used to it. Yeah. yeah if, you have, if you have to hit people with this stuff, you better. Oh, be you get the you music. at least probably know what it feels chamber. like. Yeah. Yeah. There, I the gas unprepared. Like, like, this yeah. stuff is. This stuff is worse. Whew. This stuff is actually worse. That's, because that's not worse than Zyklon B. I kind of. The fuck is that? Gas chamber. Oh wait, I wrong ones. Oh, well, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not chlorine. <laughs> well, like the thing is, this is the shit. Because if you go in there with the wrong people, this is what they do. So you go in there with like 15 people, right? And they say, "All right, we're gonna throw it in there. Don't fucking hold your breath. Anybody we can see holding your breath, we're gonna wait for y'all to give y'all the order to put your fucking mask on. Yeah. You know. So like, there's always some dumb motherfucker thing they can hold their breath. breath. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> I'm like, dude, fucking breathe, dude. Yeah, at least make like, it look like you're breathing. About, it gets to the point where we're about to fuck this dude up, right? And they, like, you know, actually, punch a breath into him. Well, that's what we know what we do with just him in the gut one time. Just, <gasps> and then they get him. <laughs> Yeah, and the thing oh, about man. this stuff is because I've always heard that, you know, as soon as you get out of the, the gas chamber, um, it pretty much goes away right away. This stuff is oil-based. so Capscum. It's, like sticks to your oh, skin. It's actually or, Oriolus capsaicin. So yeah, it so it's, it's like yeah, the so super, it to you. yeah, it's the super Fuck extract. Yeah, yeah, you're right about that. Because once you put the mask on, it, after a while, you can't, you're disoriented, but... It kind of yeah. clears up pretty quick. Yeah, as, soon as, as soon as you hit the the open air, you can kind of, yeah. all right, you know. This but shit, this shit, though, fuck yeah. no, you're fucked. Up. I might as well cook with it. I kind of <laughs> wanted to make. I kind of wanted to make a little device like that for for the bums and like the panhandlers. They see you and they like come up to you and they like ask for change and just you can just say like no thanks and have like a little. Like just like a skunk, where you walk past him and you have a just little a thing little somewhere where it just goes, squirt. Yeah, just like, like that, and then like you, like you just you just walk, you know, you just walk, so it doesn't really stick to you. And then they're just all like, you hear them right after you leave, and they're like, he's like, hey, she's going, hurrah, hurrah. and then they think their friend did it, so they start fighting. Yeah. I just imagine, you could, I just imagine it'd and be then a riot. They start like, filming and give them a contract. You have bum fights five, small, and then they all, and then they both run to their BMWs. You don't spray them directly. You don't look at them and like boom, but just like. Like well, that. you know that's one of like, the that's actually a good uh, good thing to do. Like if you have to break up a party or something, yeah. you dust crop. Yeah, no, for you sure. You just go in and you just start dust cropping. And people are like, yeah. "Why is I? I gotta get out, get out of here." Right. That's you right. You no, do gotta sure. get yeah. out of here. If you people have to get out right. a party or a room, yeah, just pfft, at the ground. You don't even like I'm saying you're not trying to like fuck anyone's night up. Just like pfft, and it fuck everyone's night up. Not any one person. Yeah. Kinda, just yeah. be like everyone needs to get out of here now because it fucking get out of here now. The air smells like burning. As opposed to running through the crowd with a taser and getting every single person. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get out of here. Oh, Everyone man. hold hands. Fuck tasers. <laughs> Fuck tasers, man. Those things could kill You'll you. You'll all feel a slight <laughs> shock yeah. if you all well, hold the, hands. The, the, one of the reasons why they could kill you is, I mean, if you have a prior heart condition, heart condition yeah. or you're high on some type of amphetamine. Yeah, nah, for the most no, part, man, that's too. where it really fucks you up. Well, that's where like the drug addicts. Well, get I mean, fuck. Die. We're in New Mexico, yeah, yeah, man. There's a lot of people high on amphetamines. Yeah, shoot, man. I've had to deal with some jacked up stuff lately. Um, I had to go clear out a, a room. That's all I'll go into detail about that. I had to clear out a room with uh, APD. And, you know, at first, I'm, you're just looking for shit that's going to pop out and, you know, direct threat at you. Well, as soon as we figure out no one's in there, I start looking around. And I shrink. What do you see? I saw literally piles of hypodermic needles oh, in this oh, fucking geez. room. Oh. And, you know, I went from fucking, rah, like, looking for fucking threats to, oh, fuck. I don't want to walk anywhere. I gotta, I gotta get out of here I gotta, now. Just like, like, I'm not, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> follow the exact same steps Do that not I came trip in. These can oh, penetrate yeah. the high techs, right? If you trip, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be outside. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, I'm getting the fuck that out of here. That was one of here. my... Oh, eight, the A's ain't worth eighteen ninety five an hour, sir. That, Sorry, I got to go. The fucking needle, try 12. That, need, that needle scene. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> fucking A, dude. Oh, yeah, when I found out, well, we had to go up there because we thought somebody was up in the room and we locked out those people. Well, as soon as uh, as soon as I saw that, well, as soon as I started hearing all this shit going on, I just called the cops. I was like, I ain't going up there by myself. Yeah, fuck yeah, fuck. I don't get paid enough for <laughs> exactly. miracles. You're like, yeah, I'm you know? good on that. Yeah. And some people, you know, they think fucking because they're carrying a gun or whatever, they think they're all fucking cool. 
A very scary. I, okay, so I've, I've I've kicked around this idea this idea before. Are you guys into like the haunted house attractions at all? One. Have you? Well, in Frankenstein's general, Frankenstein's Castle I've in wor- Germany. I've worked at one actually. Primitive Fear. Fucking. Um, awesome. I don't know. Yeah. It turn was, your, turn it was one of the scream ones. Oh, one of the scream it, ones. It was like I don't know the, for the spirit for the spirit superstore ones. It was like oh really one of the spirit sponsored ones. It was like oh at uh, at like a mall. Yeah. yeah oh, okay. Yeah, because that's right. That's right. I went to uh, Cottonwood one, one time and they had was, the haunted house. It was nothing super super like crazy. Scary, Just a lot of fog machines. It was, it was fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun though. I yeah. liked it. Yeah, Frankenstein's Castle in Germany, and then there was this haunted house in the woods out. Did you ever go to New Schweinstein? No. Oh. No. But no, uh, Philadelphia. That that was the scariest, I've been to Philadelphia. <laughs> that was the scariest that house, house I've house. ever been to. I mean, like, so I'm walking there, right? And, you know, my, my 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 uncle knows I'm I'm fucking super scared of fucking Michael Myers. Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking of super course. scared, of Michael. Myers. You know, Mike the uh, Mike Myers mask was just a William Captain Shatner. Kirk. Captain Kirk. Yeah, it's uh, Captain uncolored. Kirk mask painted white. Yeah, oh, it's painted white. Yeah, that's right. Creepy and, yeah. and um, okay. different hair. Yeah, but um, yeah. It's like real these Mike motherfuckers Myers use hair. real chainsaws inside the fucking haunted house. Oh just yeah, without just chain. without the chain. <laughs> yeah, why? Wow, I don't know if it was without the too. chain or not. Maybe it I was. I didn't stick around. <laughs> All I yeah. know was I was fucking gone. I'm like, yo, yeah. I'll wait for y'all by the train tracks. Fuck this. I'm there not was going one in time. There. There was one time at the haunted house I worked at where uh, this girl was working the room that uh, where there was the chainsaw and she had to work the chainsaw and run the people out of the room or whatever, and uh, you know people like to go into the haunted houses drunk <laughs> oh, because God. I don't I really don't see the allure in that you I think you, you want to no, be no, sober no. to have that extra edge no no this is what you do the, uh, damn it's past Halloween already but next Halloween try this go donate blood it may not be too late go donate blood. <laughs> and then go drink. Yeah. And then go to the haunted house. Dude, I gave blood. Fuck. Dude, I gave blood and then tried. Only once. Only Mike's like, I only did that once. Earlier, Three people passed was, out. Earlier was, this year. Yeah. Earlier this year, it was like March. I gave blood at work. Did and you drink? No, no. A little bit different. Uh, I wanted to do an experiment because I have a background in science. So uh, I uh, had a couple hours off of work. I came back here after giving blood, and I wanted to see if I could get a full-on boner with a, <laughs> with a pint of blood missing. And uh, turns out You he- are from the scientific community. That's a fucking science. I wonder. Three hours later, I woke up flat on my floor. Well, it turns out you can only get a semi, but you can't. Can, uh, yeah, you can only get a chub, but you can finish like oh, usual. Wow. It's not a pretty sight, though. <laughs> so that was my uh, science experiment. And then I went back to work like, for an hour. This <laughs> fucking guy here. That is science. Yeah, then so I went back to work for an hour. That's a, that's a hell of a science experiment. Right. That's dedication. I drank a thimble of orange juice and went back to work. <laughs> 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 but um, so I bring all this up because oh yeah the haunted house thing um, so yeah that girl that was working in the chainsaw room one night where people decided to get drunk uh, she ran out of this little door with the chainsaw and scared the people and uh, the dude punched her like twice in the face oh, shit and then she started having a panic attack and couldn't breathe <laughs> and, yeah and then he we scared me so because she couldn't breathe she couldn't scream. And she, uh, like, it, like, we kind of heard for like a minute, like, complete silence in that room. We're like, what the fuck's going on? And someone Where's went the in chainsaw? there. Yeah, someone went in there. Oh my God. And all the kids are like, mommy, this is yeah, scary. Yeah, so, and then we found out that she had been punched in the face and had a panic attack. That's crazy. That's why Ashley won't bring me to those. Well, really? She, she always wants to, like, well, you don't me. need to go to those, Uriah. No, I don't need to go to those. Fucking, you remember the fucking JD jumping out at you in oh, that I remember. house? Yeah, and dude, I fucking. He almost caught JD in the face with an elbow because he jumped out at him while he was drunk That's, oh it was well and i touched his face yeah. jd you don't know him he's uh one of the, the stoner, well he was yeah the in the brothers. bonk stoner time Bros. video <laughs> yeah yeah he uh oh man oh i was so mad because i almost did a full connect and you can ask him i you touched bla- you would have blasted him all <laughs> oh yeah well he I, made contact but he stopped at that yeah <laughs> I, like, what I, I barely it was like a moon landing <laughs> stopped at contact <laughs> they didn't dig <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, oh, I was so mad at that fucking guy. Oh man! But Turn so I bring, I may, I bring this um, all up yeah. because there is a Christmas themed haunted house. Really? Yeah, there is. Oh, that's gonna make the South mad. Now, you, <laughs> I know you guys both. I know Uriah and and Mike both have kids. Would you ever consider nope. taking your kid to 
a Christmas themed haunted yeah, house once they once they got out of the Santa thing. My son's Muslim. He was never that. in the Santa. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> really? Yeah. So I didn't know that. Yeah, he's Muslim, man. Man. He's a little pimp. He's like he had Stella as a girlfriend for a week, and then <laughs> found out that she got mentioned on the show, and she broke up with him. And oh, they're, they're, they're kind of making it happen again. Oh, nice! Yeah. Fucking Stella! <laughs> Stella! <laughs> 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 so yeah, just uh, watch this and tell me if this, this would be something you're into. Yes, yes. Hacking on him. Where are the Satanists? <laughs> oh, that was it. <laughs> That's a, it's, just, it's just a quick promo for the haunted house. Where is it? It's in uh, Long Island, New York. Oh, of course it's not here. Of course it's not. But cool. I had I have previously discussed the idea of doing a Christmas themed haunted house. I've even had dreams of doing a Christmas tr- themed haunted house. You know what? We should do that's, that because that's, that's you know not bad. How, how many people have done it? And is These it a people. Is it a, well? Is it a first for New Mexico? <laughs> If you know they did mean? like a um, like a Passion of the Christ haunted house, oh then God. that would. No, no. You'd piss <laughs> Parents, off. after you're done with the River of Lights with your kids, come on over to the Christmas haunted house. Yeah, come over. I don't the, know, man. To the Passion of the. Yeah. This place is only open to adults, though. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Well, that's good. yeah. You can't take kids in here like you can the normal haunted. Come houses. into this haunted house and watch Jesus drag you through. Oh my God! I know, right? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't do haunted houses that well. I tell you what, I'm, you can't make I'm too the thing is you can't make scared. Santa fat because I know I can outrun any fat person. Right? If you weigh <laughs> over you 150 elves. pounds, evil elves, I can. I'm kicking. I'm kicking elves. Because <laughs> I'm almost an elf. So I'd be like. I'd be like the pimp elf. Game on, I'd bitches. Be, what is it with scary guys that can walk faster than I could run on my best day, though? Like what is <laughs> and it? Yet, you know, and yet they're like walking the weird, in slow motion. It's like the weird horror movie, like warp? scary thing. When I'm scared, I run full speed, but the walking man can the, walk the thing and is, catch up to me. Just all super. I don't creepy. see like. Right. I don't see how so many black people died in those movies. Like, cause like they were most, the first. Well, the thing is, most of the black and, and not not that you know you know you know it's ran its course. But what my my whole theory was, all of these black people were athletes in the movie. But somehow they can't outrun the killer. Exactly. Somehow they trip there over a stair or something. There's not one fucking like. Barry Sanders move. It's like any of these movies. Okay, it's, right. like, it's like that. It's like that bear chasing the guy on the bike video that where everybody. Awesome. When, it's fake. Is it fake? It's so fake. If you watch it in slow motion, the bear is completely clear. Meanwhile, the entire background is all shaky. Yeah. Two, uh, he sto- that little tiny tree branch gets in the way of his bike path as he's out riding a fucking bear. For one, bears can run faster than a person can yes. ride a bike. And they are fucking fast. And, and what, how two, fast do they run? Like 30-something miles an hour, right? A person can only bike in that kind of terrain at maybe 20, 25 uh, maximum. Oh, that's the uh, fucking max, video. Yeah. That's the GoPro video with the yeah. bear chasing yeah. the guy. It's fake as shit. Yeah, so, yeah. like, the guy, well, that's uh, he comes up on, a, on a little, much. there's <laughs> a little tree branch in the way of his bike path. He didn't go to the left, he didn't go to the right. He stopped and got off his bike and ran behind a tree. Bears because can smell food from miles away. That's what I said. Yeah. That was my comment on the video. Bears I was can like, smell food he'll, he'll from miles. He'll never smell me here. <laughs> yeah. It's like 30 feet off the trail. But anytime, anytime the guy, anytime the guy looked back, because it's, the, the camera's mounted directly in the front. Anytime you look back, the most you can get is maybe like 90 degrees, 100 degrees back. You can't get the entire way back yeah. that he was showing. Two, you slow down the video or even just pause it and the bear is clearer than the rest of the scenery. That and three, it. it stops chasing him just because he hides behind a fucking tree. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. It's just like that. Yeah, that part, I was definitely like the that's fuck not you hid yeah. behind a tree. Like, if a bear's like, gonna chase you, a I bear's like, going to fucking chase yeah, gonna, I was you. Like, this you. Video's, I was like, this yeah, video's not gonna show some dude right. getting eaten by a bear, right? Yeah, because bear, like, bears dang. can't go to Walmart. He just used all this energy Grizzly man you. Grizzly man they got eaten by a bear. Well, they of course they can't that. go to Walmart. They have signs. They, exactly. have, they have no bear yeah, signs. <laughs> and that like, keeps them out. <laughs> he's like coming for you. He's like, where's this motherfucker? Because I just use all this energy. Is this Walmart <laughs> property? I'm going to hibernate on this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to put him in my cave and make him sit there. <laughs> make sure the, make sure the meat ain't ropey. <laughs> I, think, 
I think all they're doing with this Halloween or with this Christmas haunted house thing is bringing the fear back into Christmas that used to be. I think they're just trying to do something new. Christmas used to have uh, the devil involved with it. Have you ever heard of Krampus? Krampus, no. yeah. Krampus. Yeah, Krampus I, is like a devil figure that was Santa's counterpart who would kidnap the bad children, take them to his lair, and then beat them with sticks like Adrian Peterson does with his kid. Crazy. And he uh, rode like a, like a, like eight legged like reindeer or some shit. Yeah, they were like reindeer. crazy like Odin reindeer with yeah. six legs. Like yeah, no There's something all crazy. <laughs> Breathing fire. I just know Krampus from um, that American that, Dad. It's that old fucking um, arcade game Carnival with the shotguns where you yeah, shoot at the screen yeah. and the guy in the snow stage. He his name was Krampus and he was oh. definitely like a demon. Santa dude on yeah, fucking roller that. skates. You had to blast the shit out of him. Oh but, well, definitely. I would like to play this because it is a little history. It is going yeah. around uh, like right now. This last weekend was actually the day that this whole tradition started. We've been kind of following it. Hitting it day by day okay. as far because it's, it's like the whole Feast of St. Nicholas in the Netherlands kind of thing. And uh, they got their... Um, Santa has his little helper, uh, Swarte Pete, who is uh, a guy in blackface. <laughs> <laughs> and it, apparently, it has to be a white guy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's how all the parades are. So like, there's been a lot of controversy about that whole thing. I wonder why. Hmm. But uh, yeah, let's listen to the legend of Krampus. Play the video. Oh no. It seems so peaceful. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, what's happening? Buffering. You must damn have Century Link. God damn buffering. Nope. <laughs> oh, actually, no. <laughs> Let me lower the quality. That's probably the problem. Yeah, I have Century Link, so this happens. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, <laughs> I have Century Link. <laughs> a lot of people complain about Century Link. I, I, I don't have it, though. I have Xfinity. It but works. It's just, they're just fucking. It's, it, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, don't, don't online game with it. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> jump out there. How did an evil Christmas monster ever become one of Santa's little helpers? The story begins with a 4th century bishop named Saint Nicholas, a generous man who at Christmas time would wander to the streets and toss coins into the windows of poor houses in the town. A thousand years later, and many generations of pagan storytelling introduces Krampus. A Christmas demon who forms the malevolent Yang to Santa's generous yin. By the time of the Renaissance, the yearly celebration of Santa Claus evolved to include an evil twin known as Krampus. For generations, parents in Germany, Austria, Italy, and Slovenia would frighten children into being good with stories of Krampus. If they were good, they could expect Saint Nicholas to bring them toys and treats. But if they were bad, the Krampus would show up instead and whip them with sticks and chain. The Krampus. And if they were really bad, the demon would stuff them into the basket he carried on his back and take them down to hell. <laughs> Damn. That In the late 1800s, for Christmas kids, color printing, don't go to hell. German-speaking people around the world started mailing friends and children postcards with Krampus on them. And most of them would have that ominous message, Gross von Krampus, which means greetings from Krampus. How creepy. <laughs> the message intended to warn children to be good, local neighborhood demon, Santa's right? scary brother would visit them. What Near the did. beginning of the 20th century, prior to the breakout of World War I, the Christmas devil became political. When the fascists rose to power in the 30s, That's when everything fucked popular up. holiday parties called Krampus balls and any image of Krampus in Austria and Germany became expressly forbidden. Immediately after the war, Krampus became more interested in the naughty mothers of children. <laughs> the naughty mothers of children. With the end of the Second World War, Krampus makes his return to Europe. Over time, he becomes more popular than ever. Each year, on December 5th, young men in Eastern Europe dressed in amazing and horrifyingly realistic Krampus costumes Sick. participate in events known as Krampuslaufs. Christmas fests. The Krampus runs. <laughs> Much like the zombie walks in the United States, 
Hundreds of Krampuses rampage throughout the streets. It's all written on Latin on their shields. Right, At the end of the parade, like St. Latin. Nicholas himself appears to get the monsters under control and hand out gifts to the good boys and girls in the crowd. What about all the fucking bad kids? With the ever-increasing yeah, right. commercialization fuck, fuck of Christmas... No, see, they've they've already been hit with sticks and chains. Right? Oh, okay. And the thirst for new no, stories you. and traditions... <laughs> the 21st century will grow up with fond memories of Santa and his evil brother Krampus. I like how, how come Santa's the, not I know, driving? I was, gonna, I was gonna say I like how Santa's just chilling, mobbing. Because he's got to drive a sleigh later and give a lot more presents. Because he's all drunk in that picture. <laughs> Fucking. It's all that eggnog. Krampus was the designated driver. So that's that's the whole Krampus thing. That doesn't Krampus. seem like the thing. Uh, it seems right on par with the haunted house Christmas theme. It yeah. does. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't mind it. John. John. You're already done with the work party. What happened? I showed up. You know what to do. Microphone. Exactly. And got the fuck he's all out. drunk, guys. Everybody can't tell. He's all drunk. They oh, kicked him God. out of the. They kicked him out of the party. <laughs> See, this don't is, get it twisted. <laughs> this is like having the person at the party who just sort of sits in the corner, but usually contributes on a one-on-one -on -one basis. But now it's just like, oh, I'm gonna sit back here and be anonymous. Anyways, shut up. I like to watch. <laughs> you do like to watch. <laughs> He's into cuckolding is what he's getting at. <laughs> so I, I don't I think we should bring the fear element back into Christmas. Why not? Because these kids Why are not? acting like assholes. Bullying other kids until they die. We're fucking brats. <laughs> fucking brats, man. They get their fucking iPhone and they're all crying because it's not we the black one. We should start punishing our kids. Because they get the no, white one start, instead of the black one. We need it's to like, punish the parents. So wait, what's well, your guys' take? Is, like, punish them all. <laughs> you guys have kids. What's your guys' take on like the whole giving them phones? Like... The crazy ones that have all the access that you have. No. Give your Not kid, until do you think give your kid a jitterbug? No, jitterbug. I, Maybe life. No, alert? no, no, no. That's no, they actually son. have a dragonfly one where you can program like five or six numbers into it, and then that's yeah, like that's, all they can. And call. that's it. I do tablets. I says a tablet. If I need to call them, I'll call them on fucking Google Hangouts. Yeah, oh, just there you kinda go. like text him or whatever. Yeah, I can see him. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no bullshit. He can see the eyes and he's like, oh shit. Take the post-it note off of the camera lens. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 360 that motherfucker. Right. <laughs> Let's see what you mean. Well, that's cool. I mean, hey. You know, and then I really mean, freak the shit out of him. He 360s it and you're right behind him. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what happened? Yeah, I'm good I always that. know. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, if my kid actually needed a phone, I'd... I'd get her a phone, but if she don't need a phone, she ain't getting no fucking phone. Man, yeah, just, yeah. Aaron, not, not just to, like not that. just to have one. No, right? Oh man, I get calls like this every day. But well, he he's eight, and what if he's late for school and he misses the bus and he needs someone to call so someone can come pick him up? It, it's dangerous out there, and this could be an emergency situation. And he needs a phone. He needs to work. He needs it now. Oh wow, well, he'll like, he'll figure it out. The damn kid's not retarded. He can go ask for a phone in the office. <laughs> yeah. you know? like, the, I mean, <laughs> fuck, kids aren't. <laughs> that stupid these days. I mean, they're yeah. it's, it's like they know, don't, well, you don't know what? In, don't, in, they're in, actually really smart. But well, this is the number one argument I get into good. with parents <laughs> on the phone. So they'll call in and they'll be like, "I need to suspend the line. I just need to restrict it because I don't, they're on punishment. They don't need to use it." I'm like, "Not a problem. What line?" Uh, it's it's this line, right? So I'm like, "All right, cool. So we're gonna talk. Uh, we're gonna block talk, text, and data, right? Yeah, I, I don't want the phone to work. Bam, bam, bam." All right, ma'am. I know uh, your your daughter has an iPhone. Does so she got any naked pictures on it? Oh, wait, we sorry. can't stop her from connecting to Wi-Fi and still sending text messages. I'm doing Facebook. What? Messages. What do you mean you can't do this? Aren't you Sprint? Aren't I'm like, man, we don't run your Wi-Fi. Yeah, like, that's change you. the Wi-Fi password. You go, I shouldn't have to do that. And be like, and this is the thing though, and I've suggested it a couple times, and the parents fucking flipped on me, right? They don't like being told I said, what to do with their I said, kids. you know what? Um, you know what? It, it'll probably just be, you know, but I say it tactfully. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, you know what? The the only way, or in the best way, to really prevent them from actually, you know, just using take the, phone. the phone away. Exactly. That's why I said they fucking flip. <laughs> take the it phone sucks. away to the shooting range. Really? Yeah. They <laughs> flip like that was a problem. I'm like, wait a second. You're going to take everything away phone. from it. Yeah. Let's go ahead and take the, the problem yeah. out of the equation. 
Makes right. sense. You must be racist. That makes too much yeah, sense. Right. <laughs> that's a, every, everybody logic, who's, that's oh, everybody who's said anything logical to me lately, I'm like, you're racist. That makes too much sense. <laughs> you're just racist, you're prick. Racist <laughs> you're Ryan, your your sociological points. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fuck you and your truth. Yeah. <laughs> fucking damn you and your truth. I'm just saying that that would be logical. That's right. all. I'm like, just take the fucking film. Yeah. Oh yeah, but, uh, but take the phone oh name. no, God forbid! God forbid! Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just—it's not even the fact she that she needs told to send her to take pussy the shots out. It's, you know? this, it's yeah, the yeah, fact yeah, that yeah, you yeah. told a parent how to do something with their kid. Yeah, yeah. and that yeah. they don't. You don't like. know well, my well, kid. They, yeah. The thing is, like, you don't know that, your that kid. I don't know your kid more than you. I have the right. I got them on Snapchat. I follow them on Twitter. And then they complain about being on hold for twenty minutes. I'm like, in my mind, I'm thinking it takes me thirty seconds. Little, little, hang on. No, homie, give me the phone. Bam. That's it. <laughs> we done. We're done. We done. Go in your room. Give I'm going to call the cops. Not without your fucking phone. Yeah. <laughs> Go in the room. Yep. You no, that's still work. Oh, wait. No, yeah, you can. Yeah, call the cops the all store. you want. Matter of fact, here's the phone. Call the cops and give it back. That's the type of shit my dad would do. Yeah. That's the type of shit my call them. See, but that doesn't call work. Them. That doesn't work now because the kids actually call oh. the cops and the parents do get in trouble. How can they get in I'm trouble? being abused. Uh, that does happen. Well, no, the cops and not, get there and be like, so there's, so there's, there's not a problem. Like, I was spanked like five hundred dollars in front of a cop. <laughs> Stop me. I'm whipping his ass. That's right. That's, Just, that's right. <laughs> whipping that ass. That way in the future. Y'all ain't gonna have a problem with him. I'm taking care of it right, right. now. I remember uh, right it's now. like preventative measure. Right? Exactly. When I was like when I was like 13, 14, I had uh, my buddy stay the night with me and we crashed out in the living room watching movies, right? Well, at like two thirty in the morning we hear fucking knock, 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 knock at our front door, like all sick as fuck, and me and JJ wake up, we're like, What the fuck? And my dad comes out of his room and I'm like, you know, what do you want me to do? He's like, just just stay down. I'm like, okay. Well, he opens the door. It's a cop course is uriah here you're nope. like get the I'm fuck like, out here i'm like oh god and my dad looks at me like if he does not take you you've been in since 7 p.m it's 2 30 if they're still looking for you what the <laughs> fuck did you do and he goes and like he like the cop looks at me he goes oh you're uriah i'm like drop yeah. your wallet no <laughs> well he goes uh do you know Ste- do you know uh kim and rebecca and i'm like Huh, yeah. Well, they snuck out of their house, and we were wondering if they were here. No, no, they're not here. They're in the back room. <laughs> well, were. and the thing was, was that actually they would have ended up being there if I would have fallen asleep in my room. Because they went what? and knocked. I ended up finding out because I didn't <laughs> oh, talk to them. Oh, they knocked on your room, and you weren't there. Yeah, they went. They came over and knocked on my window, wow. but I wasn't there. Come on in. But they'd come over a few other times before that. They just happened to not come over that one time. Thank right. goodness, because that yeah, was the time really. they got caught. Was it their dad? The officer was their dad, or what? Like, would their parents call him or, or call um, him or what? I think uh, we don't want them fucking each other. Actually, I don't even know if we had cell phones at that time. Like, <laughs> I don't know, you know, man. It's because they didn't fucking call back and in check 1943. In. Well, no, it, they uh, they snuck out like around like 11:30 or some shit, and then. Uh, they noticed, like yeah. almost like immediately, it's like they that they were gone. They forgot to reset the alarm when they left. <laughs> I just think it was something like that. I think it was, like was something. Of course, it yeah. was. My parents, my parents were the shit. As long as I call once a day and checked in, yeah, be like, yo, no I'm over problem. at Brian's house. Shit. I could stay gone for fucking like 13 days, like two weeks. They just be like, you know, like oh, they finally call me just no. to tell me like something stupid. Just be like, oh, a piece of mail. I was the one. I was the one. Like. Racing. Your new as, game. Your new game magazine came out like your new video on. game, <laughs> right? Yeah, I that was, was me too. Nah, my my dad was real strict, man. He's like, no street lights. Come on, you need to be home. Once that sun hits that fucking mountain, that's bullshit. <laughs> Oh, that's God. bullshit, because in the winter, that's like 4.30. Exactly. No. Yeah. I'm telling you, I was ghost. I'm telling you, man. He, my pops ain't... Like, my pops would do crazy fucking shit. Like, every once in a while, he would just randomly show up to my high school just to see what the fuck was going on. <laughs> and every time he randomly showed up, I fucking got caught. Not that I cut a lot. You know, I didn't cut a lot. You know, I was actually just fucking the one time, the same the way. one time in like three months that you yeah. did, he shows up just I be just, like, yeah, just yeah, I'm like, I'm His dad class. senses were tingling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I waited. 
waited until my senior year to do that. Yeah, you know, I'm like, Shit. yeah, that was my, my boy's not my career. boy's not in class. You're hanging out, you're hanging coffee. out with your girlfriend at lunch, and you're like, fuck, I could just go ahead and you know ditch. What? I've already, I have, I have gym, and then ninth grade math. I'm a senior. I'm gonna show you how old I am right here, right? <laughs> I can ditch. Story. I can ditch. My story. This was right, right <laughs> around when Oreo finally, finally came up with the fucking grand idea to put ice cream between the fucking cookies, right? Was it the freeze dried kind like the astronauts get? I'm I've not had sure that if it before. Was that one, but I know I used to run to the fucking store and grab them for seventy five cents. They're God fucking damn. pretty delicious. They are. The Oreo Fuck, yeah. They still are today. I used to tear them up. But I like the chocolate chip ass, cookie. It's a fat ass fucking Oreo cookie, Fuck, but it's ice cream. Yeah, ice cream. I haven't had that. Yeah. I've had. The, I like oh, the. I like no. Let's it's go okay, now. Okay. Field trip. I've I was the, gonna <laughs> say, dude. Seven Eleven. I've had the chocolate chip thing. cookie ice cream sandwich. That is amazing. Similar. Same thing, just with the Oreo. I like the chocolate Oreo. chip cookie though. It's, it's like a lot softer. Yeah. No, yeah, they are soft. Because yeah. they are kind of soft, and it's just in, in an Oreo that package. Oreo, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm a fan. I'm getting one on my way home. Yeah. I, am too. <laughs> I am too now. Well, we're coming up on the end of the show right now. Uh, oh. This was fantastic. I didn't actually panic as much as I thought I would. See, you did awesome. Oh, good. Man. Good. And Here. Let's see you panic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Set the pepper spray off, and we'll All see. All right. Start the panicking. <laughs> <laughs> All but, right. Uh, Uriah, just don't don't shoot at him. He won't shoot at you. Mike, where are you going to be? Uh, Moose Lounge Sunday. And Moose Lodge? Moose Lodge. And Saturday, I'll be at the box with the comedy debate show with All Drew right. Wayne. That's right. feminism versus farts, right? Indeed. Come out. Come All out. Right. Please come out. It's really the debate topic. Awesome. Yeah. So that'll be an interesting little event. I, w- I would want to see someone debate feminism versus farts. Uh, Pax, where can they find your music? Um, all on SoundCloud. I go by Pax C. Um, just P A X with capital, capital C. C. Yep, all capital right. C. And capital I will, C for I will be getting a Facebook really soon in the next week, and I'll be put. I'll be posting this and a bunch of other songs and stuff to it as well. All right. Stay tuned. All right, man. Thanks for coming by. It was great to have you on. Yeah, thanks Uriah, for me. Thanks for coming late. Uh, yeah. And the rest of the rest of the thanks, people. Guys. Yes, you're in the past. This is. You know, I'm gonna treat this like it's. It, you're like you're watching it in 2022. So, future beings, hello. Goodbye. Goodbye.